Hello, myself Shamlata, faculty at Silver Hills Public School, Korikot, Department of Mathematics. Let us look into a new chapter, Triangle and its Property. Triangle comes under geometry, which is a branch of mathematics. Geometry, the word geometry is derived from a Greek word geometron. Geo means earth, metron means measurement. Geometry is all about shapes like rectangle, square, circle, triangle and so on. Among the shapes mentioned here, let us learn more about triangles. In today's session, these are the topics that we are going to discuss that is definition of triangle, classification of triangle and properties of triangle. After this session, you will understand the basic properties of triangle. You will be able to identify equilateral, isosceles, scalene, acute, right and obtuse triangle and also you will be able to apply these properties to solve the problems. Now let us see what is a triangle. A triangle in geometry is a close to dimensional shape with three straight sides. A triangle is also a polygon. In other words, it is a simple closed curve. A triangle has three sides, three vertices and three angles. A triangle with vertices A, B and C is denoted as triangle A, B, C. This symbol is an Greek alphabet called delta and when we read this, we read it as triangle A, B, C. In the figure, you can see that the three line segments are A, B, B, C and AC and the vertices are points A, B and C and the angles, angles A, B, C. How many angles do you find here? We find here three angles from the word triangle. Tri means three. There are three angles that is tri angle A, angle B and angle C. Next, let us learn about the classification of triangles. These triangles are classified depending on their sides and angles. Based on the sides, you have three types that is equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. Then based on angles, you have another three types that is acute angle triangle, right angle triangle and obtuse angled triangle. Let us study these in detail. First, let us study about equilateral triangle. What is an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides have the same length. An equilateral triangle is also an equiangular. It is called equiangular because all the three angles will measure the same that is it will be equal to 60 degree that is why it is called equiangular all the three sides will measure I mean three angles measure 60 degree. Next is the isosceles triangle. What is an isosceles triangle? A triangle with two equal sides. Now, in the figure, you, see, you can see that side AB and side AC measure 3 centimeters each. So, they have two sides having same measurement whereas side BC is measuring 2 centimeters. Such a type of triangle where you have equal sides, two equal sides, we call them as isosceles triangle and also it has two equal angles. Next type is the scalene triangle. In a scalene triangle, all the three sides have different measures. AB in the figure, you can see that AB measures 15, BC measures 32 and AC measures 34 centimeters. So, all the three sides are having different measurements. Such a type of triangle is called scalene 
triangle. Now, let us look into the classification of triangles based on angles. The first one is acute angle triangle. The word acute, what is an acute angle? An acute angle is one which measures lesser than 90 degree. In the figure you can see very clearly all the three angles are lesser than 90 degree. Such a type of triangle where all the three angles are lesser than 90 we call it as acute angle triangle. Next type is right angle triangle. What is a right angle? A right angle is one which measures 90 degree. Now in this triangle you can see one of the angle is 90 and the other two angles are lesser than 90. Such a type of triangle is called right angle triangle. So in a right angle triangle you have only one 90 degree and the other two has to be lesser than 90 that means they should be acute. Such a type of triangle is called right angle triangle. Next we are going to study about obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse, obtuse means an angle which is greater than 90 but lesser than 180. In the figure you can see one of the angle is greater than 90 that is 110 degree which is an obtuse angle. So one angle will be obtuse and the other two will be acute. Such a type of triangle is called obtuse angle triangle. Where do we find these triangles in our daily lives? Triangles in engineering and architecture. Many of you must have seen bridges. How are the bridges? What is the shape of it? It is basically triangular in shape. Why is it in triangular in shape? They are in triangular in shape because they can withstand a great amount of pressure. Next time when you see a bridge, look at the structure, how it is made, what is the shape of it? Basically, it is triangular in shape. Okay. Next, let us study about the properties of triangle. Before learning the properties of triangle, you should know what is interior angle and exterior angle of a triangle. Interior angle of a triangle are the angles which are inside, enclosed inside the triangle and the exterior angles are those which are adjacent to the interior angles. In the figure, angle A, B, C are called interior angles and the angles E, F, D are exterior angles. These are adjacent to the interior angles. So, the first property which we are going to study now is the sum of three interior angles of a triangle is always 180. A triangle has got how many angles? It has got three angles. So, when you add all the three angles, the sum should be exactly equal to 180. It should not be more than 180 or it should not be less than 180. It should measure exactly 180. This is the first property. So, the first property says that the sum of three interior angles of a triangle is always 180. Let us look into an example, how to find the third angle when two interior angles are given. Find the value of x in the triangle ABC. This is a triangle where angle A is not given x degree, angle B is 120 and angle C is 25 degree. You are supposed to find angle S. By applying the property, you can find the value of x. According to the property, we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degree. So, we do not know angle A. So, angle A is equal to x. Angle B is 120. Angle C is 25 degree. Then x plus when you add 120 plus 25, 145 you get. So, x plus 145 is 180. x is equal to 180 minus 145. So, the value of x is 35. Now, when we add all the three angles that is 
angle A x is equal to 35, then B is 120 and 25 degree when we add all the 3 you get the sum to be 180. So, first property is applicable here. Here is another example for you to solve. Apply the first property and find the value of x. Moving on to the next property. The next property of the triangle is an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Here the interior angles, the measure of two interior angles they have given. One is 60 degree and the other one is 70 degree. These two angles are interior angles. Look at the third angle that is the exterior angle which is equal to 130. When we add angle 60 plus angle 70, you get the sum to be 130. This 130 is nothing but the exterior angle. So, the property says an exterior angle that is 130 will be equal to the sum of the interior opposite. 60 degree and 70 degree are opposite angles. So, when you add 60 plus 70, you get 130 which is equal to the interior opposite angles. Let us see an example based on this property. An exterior angle of a triangle is of measure 80 degree. Here is the exterior angle which is measuring 80 degree and the interior angles are given as 30 degree and x degree. They are interior opposite angle of the exterior angle 80. How to find out the value of x? Let us apply the property that we have learned just now. That is exterior angle 80 degree will be equal to 30 degree plus x degree. x is equal to 80 minus 30 that is the value of x is 50 degree. So, when you add 30 plus 50, you get 80 which is equal to the exterior angle. And this is another example for you to practice. Apply the property and try to find the solution for this problem. Next is the last property. The last property about the triangle is the sum of the length of two sides of the triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. That is now in this triangle you have three sides. The three sides are AB, BC and AC. When you add any two sides the sum that you get should be greater than the third side. Here in the figure you get 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6 is 11 which is greater than 7. Similarly, when you add 6 plus 7, you get 13. That is also greater than 5. And when you add 7 plus 5, you get 12, which is greater than 6. So, to form a triangle, this is a very important property. If a triangle has to be formed, the sum of two sides should be greater than the third side. Only then you can form a triangle. By applying this property, let us try to find out the solution for this problem. Is it possible to have a triangle with the following sides? The sides, the measurements are given as 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters. Let us see whether we can form a triangle with this measurement. So, the figure is given there. Now, the measurement AB is 2 centimeter, BC is 3 centimeter and AC is 4 centimeter. These are the three sides of a triangle the measurement is given. Let us check whether we can form a triangle with this measurement. Side AB plus side BC is 2 centimeter plus 3 centimeter that is equal to 5 which is greater than the other side that is 5 is greater than 4. Next try to add side BC plus CA that is 3 centimeter plus 4 centimeter which is equal to 7 centimeter. The 7 is again greater than 2. Okay. Then the third side, let us look the third side CA plus AB. 
that is 4 centimeter plus 2 centimeter when you add these two you get 6 centimeters 6 is again greater than 3. So, definitely you can form a triangle with this measure. Here is another example for you to practice apply the property and try to find the solution for this problem. Now, real life examples of a triangle based on the sides which we studied now, what are equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangles are those which have equal sides or the three sides measure the same. Now, these two are the examples which most of you must have seen. These are these two are equilateral triangle. Next, these two they look like isosceles triangle. What is isosceles? Two sides are equal and the third side will measure different. So, they are called isosceles triangle and the last one is the scalene triangle. All the three sides measure different. This is the classification based on sides. Next, let us see real life examples based on angles. Look at this, the roof. This is an acute angle triangle. You can see all the three angles here which are smaller than 90 degree. So, it is called acute angle. Now, this is another example for a right angle triangle a set square which you find in your geometry box. All of you must be using the set square. So, this is a right angle triangle. This is a set square which you can find in the instrument box a right angle triangle this corner measures 90 degree and these two corners will measure lesser than 90 degree they are acute angle and this is right angle such a type of triangle is called right angle triangle ok. The last one is an obtuse angle triangle which all of you must have seen in your house. Here one of the angle is greater than 90, so we call this as an obtuse angle triangle. So after this session, I hope all of you have enjoyed this class, thank you.